Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid-Morning Manna. All of our friends, I hope you've tuned in already and uh, that you've hit that subscribe button and uh, that you have uh, hit the thumbs up uh, and that you've shared these programs with others that maybe especially someone would come to your mind that has a heartache or a need or they're under pressure or they're about to lose their mind uh, because of difficulties in their life. Why don't you just share this with the, the people that follow you on Facebook or or on, uh, uh, on YouTube or on any other platform, just share it with them and uh, let them at least hear from the Word of God how they can have the peace of God in their life. God's Word is powerful, my friend. The Word of God it has the power to change lives. It has the power for folks to have victory in their life personally. And it has also has the power to help you as a Christian be able to share your faith with others. And I trust that you will. So hit that share button, thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and that will be a great help. I, I've done over 700 of these videos. I've gotten tremendous results from a lot of different people in a lot of different places. And I'd like to hear from you as well, if I haven't already. And uh, just let us know that you're tuning in, that, that it's a help to you on some occasions. Some days you may listen to it and say, well, that was it. That was ignorant. I don't even know what that was about. But maybe that happens. You know, I've, I've been in services when I felt like that when the preacher got done. Not our, not my preacher, but uh, but other preachers, you know, and uh, uh, so don't be surprised if sometimes the preacher hits a, a bombs out and you come leave the same way you came in, didn't make any decision, any commitment, didn't go any further, but you did go through the motions. But you know what? I think God will bless you just for your faithfulness. But if you want to have that peace, Jesus is your source, and He has some wonderful things. Listen to what He said. In the Philippians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul writing to the church there at Philippi, he said this. He said, let your moderation be known to all men. In other words, don't be an extremist. Don't be, go, go in there like a bull in a china shop and plow every, everybody down. He said, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. Now, that means he's not saying don't care about anything. Well, that, that when he says be careful for nothing, he's talking about stop worrying. Don't be full of care, full of worry, full of fear. And that's why we're talking this week about this matter of having peace in your life. If you're going to have victory in your life as a Christian, and if you're going to be able to influence anybody else, if you're going to be able to properly raise your children, love your spouse, uh, be involved in your church, be a testimony in the workplace and, and, uh, and, and in the neighborhood and in family circles, if you're going to be able to do all that, then you're going to have to find that peace that only God can give you and that strength that comes with it. But listen to what he said. Here's what Paul wrote. He's, I'm going to go back and start at verse 5 again, read the whole thing. Let, this, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god and the peace of god uh, which which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through christ jesus jesus wants to be your peace through the lord jesus christ you can have that peace so he said pray and be thankful and and have make sure you're you're being you're not full of care that you're worrying about everything let god be your peace allow christ to work through you allow the holy spirit to guide you have the peace of God in your life. Do it today. Start right now. As soon as this broadcast goes off, you just stop for a moment and say, Dear God, help me to quit being a worrier and help me to have peace in my heart. Help me to come to you in prayer and, and just turn it over to you. And then help me to spend some time in the word and in prayer so that you can speak to my heart and give me the answers you want me to have. And uh, that'd be amazing. I couldn't tell you the times that I've 
thought about a situation and I thought, boy, what am I going to do about this? It, this, this is, this is going to be overwhelming. I, I don't know if this can be solved or not. And uh, I, I, I really need the Lord's help. Lord, I need your help in this thing. I pray that you will. Then maybe later on that very same day or maybe even the next day because I've already done my Bible reading or something for that day. But I, the next time I'll pick up my Bible and I'll be reading a passage of scripture and right there in the middle of that passage, God speaks to my heart and says, you know that thing you asked me about? Here's the answer. Here's, what, here's something that will help you find the answer. And God gives me the help that I need. And that's why I can have peace and say, you know what? God's on the throne. I know he is. And the worst thing that can happen to me, humanly speaking, on this side is to lose my life. And if I lose my life, I'm going to gain heaven. And so I'm a winner either way. I, it, it doesn't matter. I know I, I, I say this sometimes. I don't, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I say I'm not looking for the undertaker. I'm looking for the upper taker. I'm looking for when the Lord Jesus Christ returns and we have the rapture and we all slip out into heaven. And so with that in mind, I can go through life and I can face situations and, and God gives the help that we need in losing a loved one, uh, having, having a funeral for someone that you care about and love. Uh, if they're saved and you're saved, you'll know that this parting is only temporary. You're going to see them again. And have that peace in your heart. You don't, don't go through weeks and months or even years of, of making yourself useless by, by being in mourning all the time about something that didn't go your way. Have victory, have peace, rejoice in the Lord. Tell God, Lord, I trust you and I believe you're going to see me through this thing and allow him the opportunity to work in your life. Jesus wants to be your peace. Will you let him be your peace? Give you that peace that passes all understanding. In, it's in Christ Jesus. And that's where it is. And I hope you'll get in on it. Well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the joy of coming to you in prayer. I thank you for so many friends that we have out there. I, I believe there's uh, nearly uh, 200 now that are watching uh, or that have access on a daily basis to the program. But Lord, I know uh, there are a, a couple of thousand friends that we have on Facebook, and I don't know how many of those are watching or, or even care. But I do know this. I know you care. And Lord, that's a wonderful source of peace. And I thank you for it. And I pray that every person that's watching and listening and hearing these messages this week, I pray, God, that you'd help them to find that peace in their heart that is beyond understanding and that they'll serve you and love you and be used by you. In Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen.